Hello guys and welcome to the second episode of Let's Play Greece here in Victoria 2 with the Historical Project mod. So, uh, we are back. Honestly, I shouldn't even call this Let's Play Let's Play Greece. Let's This is really let's try to play Greece until we are lucky and we get enough prestige to become a great power. Really all there is to it. This is the fourth attempt for those wondering or for those who do not pay attention in the previous episode or who haven't even watched the previous episode. Regardless, I just remember that we have actually teched up our naval based technology thing. So, we can roam about upgrading those things, which is going to give us some dank af colonial points. I might want to look into actually getting some of that colonial tech. Uh, what really matters though is that we're going to be able to start invading some of these guys. Although I wonder if you have to be a great power to do that. You might have to actually, I'm not sure. Exactly how any of that works. I think I think you have to be a great power. Of course, we are a great power now. Although we are we are a great power by like a tiny tiny bit. The Dutch have yeah, and also they are at war with a bunch of people, so they're actually going to get a bunch of prestige any day now. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me if uh, they uh, catch us soon now. If only those stupid technology. Yep, there you go. They catched us. Speaking of the devil, fucking goddamn it, Dutch. Wow, they have a hundred and... How much? How did they pull that off? You just exploded and got a bunch more prestige. God. Terrible. Terrible. Well, joke's on you, Spain. Uh, we're not going to be able to sphere the Ottomans anyways. I don't even know why I'm trying. Look how painfully close we are, though. Oh, So close. Although, actually, I, w I wouldn't surprise me if the Spanish just banned me here. Yeah. Yep, there you go. You're banned. I guess it doesn't matter that we are a great power then. Oh well. Or, I mean, we are... Uh, it doesn't matter that we, we are losing great power status. Oh. Uh, Congress Poland has spawned. Usually is an event accompanying this, but uh, this time there was not. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Jacobins. Oh, Jacobins. Why art thou such arseholes? It would be kind of funny to see a democratic Russia though. Maybe they'll stop sucking so much and actually help me against Prussia. Yes! Oh, fuck you, citizenship. Ah, I, I don't know. What do I want? Literally, there are literally no one in my entire, no political party in my nation that actually <laughs> wants full citizenship, so. Uh, I guess we'll not do that. Hey, realistic art. Oh, that wasn't enough? Tell us what happened. Spain? Oh god, yeah, the Netherlands really gained a lot of power. Holy crap. Well, there goes my hurrahs. We are researching Impressionism like a boss, though, so there's that. Well, like, what's our total power? 99. Ooh, four away. Four away from beating the Spanish. Arg, arg. I should probably go do something soon. Other than just sitting around here improving relations with people who might be useful someday. Uh, our infamy is going down, so we might want to get that invasion of Vietnam on the road. I just, oh man. I cannot afford to lose any military power. Not even a single point. I'm also um, encouraging craftsmen in an attempt to gain uh, some actual workers in my factory. Maybe I can get an industrial point. That would be good. Um, so, there is that. <laughs> Russia is- Hey! Hey! Level 8! I don't even care if I say it wrong. What I was trying to say, though, is that, uh, Russia is, uh, gonna die. Probably not. Uh, the rebels do not- I mean, if the rebels knew how to coordinate, maybe. What even are these people? Jacobins? That's nice enough. But I do want a strong Russia, though, I really do. I need them if I'm ever going to be fighting the Ottomans. Uh, of course, the Austrians could hit. They could work too. I should, I should probably. I should be improving relations with these guys. Shouldn't I? Yeah. Let's go do that. Uh, but no, seriously, we need to plan our invasion of Vietnam. Uh, because now we definitely have enough points, right? We have 112. And the Spanish have 97. Yeah, no, we do. We're fine. It's fine. We're a great power, guys. The Boer Republics have been established. Well, one of them, anyways. Maybe the fact that the Sulu conquered this place kind of fucked up the formation of the other one, but... Uvel. That's fine. Uh, 
Yeah, I think we should go invade Vietnam. Always a good pastime, that. Unless you're American. Or French. There it is. We have risen in status in the world, again. Alright, back to the Ottomans. Back to the Ottomans. Hey, we actually kept our... things. And uh, the Spanish have been replaced by the Dutch, it seems. Yeah, that, that's good. Good good Dutch. Just, just sit and pretend that this is not happening. Uh, good. Yeah, we have a huge bon bonus when it comes to influencing them because we actually border them. So it's going to be interesting to see though whether or not sphering the Ottomans is actually going to give us what we want. Which is the uh, the cancellation of the uh, alliance with Prussia. And the bad thing is that to get them out of our sphere so we can actually invade them, we have to take infamy. So, uh, shit, that might even cost prestige. Uh, we'll have to see. I, I mean, I just know that there, it is straight up impossible to invade the Ottomans with the Prussians around. They really need to add a... Um, like, it's protected by the following. They need to add the thing they have in EU4, where you can actually see what enemy allies will actually join. So that you know whether or not it's a smart idea to invade or not. Oh! Major discovery! Impressionist art! Yes! Yes! Hey, we're even... Oh man, yeah, we're a great power now. We are here to stay. Oh yeah! Are the other ones taking it? No, oh, they aren't. Ah, 0% though? Why? Oh, fuck me, that's right. You need other technologies to actually have a chance of getting these. Crap. If I remember correctly, though, you cannot get this one because that requires empiricism, which is sort of impossible to get. So, well, until uh, 1860, so. However, the, there's the chance of getting this one if we can unlock positivism. I'm not going to stop my research of experimental railroad, but uh, positivism is definitely then what we're going for next. I sh fuck me, I should have remembered that. Everything was going so fine, and here I am fucking about forgetting what I'm supposed to remember. Alright, so we can influence the Ottomans now. We can actually add them to our sphere. However, something I've been thinking about is that maybe one thing we could try to do is decrease the opinion of Prussia. I've already done that to the Netherlands, if you wonder. Uh, see if they'll piss them off to a point, I guess, where they will stop being... Uh, allies anymore. Uh, this will of course also piss off the Prussian attitude towards me, so we gotta make sure we uh, keep that as high as it can be, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see. Okay, so now we can add the Ottoman Empire to the our sphere. I still want to go ahead and try to see if making uh, the Prussians hostile to them is going to convince them to cancel their alliance. It honestly kind of would surprise me if it did, but uh, oh, there we go. Our castle spell is done. We gained like three infamy, three, four, something like that. Point is, the Vietnamese are going down. Yes. So we're gonna take Cochin China or Cochin Nia. Didn't pay attention there. Uh, the Russians would actually join me, but that would be dumb, so let's not. In this stead, let us just do the casual thing and land Troops, and yeah, that's not a very well-balanced army, so you know what, let's get that thing together and just land them all in one place, just because I I don't want to see uh, some uh, random troops swooping in and beating us up while we are unbalanced. Hey, we finally got the last idealism thing. That didn't take forever at all. Uh, we could go in for an attack here. I am... Oh man, I'm scared though. Like maybe if I if maybe if I rebalance my army a bit, we could go for that. No, that did not cancel the alliance, and now there is the North German Federation, even more scary than Prussia. Oh god. Uh, I don't know. I guess something we can do is just make sure everyone else hates them as well. Let's do the Dutch. Never mind the. Eh, eh, let's do the Dutch. Kick everyone out of the Ottoman Empire. Make sure no one does anything silly. And, uh, yeah. Oh, the Ottoman Empire is asking for access. Does that mean you're fighting someone? Uh, you are fighting the Austrians. Interesting. So I guess he joined the war between Austria and... Hong and uh, yeah, Austria and uh, the Germans. What is this about anyways? 
Uh, I love the fact that Great Pyro still exists. Um, ah, it's the Brothers War. Just a bit late, I guess. Or maybe kind of on time. <laughs> I've already forgotten when that war was. Was that in the 60s? Oh god, I, I can't remember. <laughs> Regardless, um, Germany is just getting closer and closer to forming, and I am getting closer and closer to panicking. Can I intervene in this? I probably wouldn't, would I? No. No, let's just keep decreasing any sort of relations the Ottomans might have with anyone. Uh, sure, I'll give you access. Why not? Gotta make sure we repair their, the relations we are ruining by kicking people out of the Ottomans, though. War with Vietnam is going slowly, and uh, we are losing a lot of dudes. Our possible regiments are going low, and... Uh, I really think we should go for another region as well. So I say we actually decline that, and... Add a war goal. We're gonna add... Well, the only thing we can add. An arm. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna keep the war going. Ah, there we are. Positivism. So that's gonna once more open the opportunity to get some of this prestige tech. Still 0% for music, but we can now get literature, so that'll be a nice 15% prestige. Well, not percent. A nice 15 prestige, basically. By the way, the game claims we have enough war scores, so can you just give up already? I don't want to lose any more men, yes. Demand all the things. And there it is, some new holdings. That grants us the ability to build some more units, and I'm actually just going to build infantry now. Because my armies are so unbalanced uh, that I really do believe that's what we need. Though actually... Hmm. I think I might actually disband some units as well. Yeah, let's get rid of these, um, these artillery men who can actually support themselves. Ditch those, and hope that that was not for nothing, and that we can now recruit some more cavalry. Because we have unlocked better calves, so... Well, it doesn't look like it, though. We should probably choose a new tech. Uh, yeah, we probably need some in, uh, some of this stuff. Let's do... Uh, I, fuck, I don't know. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck just happened? Okay, so the Russians called us into war. They're calling us into some crappy Swedish war. That's fine, I guess. Although that does make us fight the Dutch, that's scary. But this, what the hell? Why on earth? How? Okay. What? How did the French spare the Ottomans? What the hell? What the hell, man? And you're at war with Russia? Oh, is this the Crimean War? Yeah, it is. So the Russian or the French got that by event, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Well, crap. Ah, uh, I should have thought about that, so I could have done something about it. Now, ah, uh, damn it! <laughs> damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Okay, uh, that changes things. Especially the fact that we're now fighting the Dutch. Hopefully, I don't actually have to fight the Dutch or anything, but still. Uh, oh, hello. Hey! Prestige. How are we doing right now? <laughs> well, we're almost catching up to the Russians. Maybe they'll get so wrecked in all of these wars that uh, they'll lose some prestige. Although, heck, if the Swedish win this, then I'll lose prestige too, so I don't want that to happen. Yeah, the Swedish picked a good time to declare war. I really hope I don't lose a lot of prestige from losing that, because I'm not going to do anything. Unless the Dutch do any landings over here, though, then I might have to do something, but still. Okay, so the Russians have already just completely given up on the whole Crimean War, it seems. So that's that's done for. What does that mean? Okay, so Romania becomes independent. How shouldn't the end of that event uh, grant this region to Romania? Guess not. Don't know what's up with that, but uh, that really doesn't change anything for me. I'm not Romania. So, that's fine. Uh, let's do... Uh, let's do this. Uh, actually, medicine. That's... that's. There's a lot of bonuses in medicine, so you should probably get that. Yeah, so now hopefully Russia can go beat up the... Um, the Swedish. Are you still spared, though? That's the thing. No, you're not. But I'm still banned, so... F God damn it. 
Because this whole French thing, I guess, was more of a phase then. Once we are no longer banned, we can get back to messing around with the Ottomans. And once the war with Sweden is over, we can maybe consider if we want to try a war. Or if we want to try sphering the Ottomans. Once again, I just don't know, though, if that's going to convince the, uh, the Germans to stop allying them. I don't know. Oh, what the... <laughs> Netherlands, what are you doing here? Get out of my lane! Actually, can I get peace? Because this is kind of stupid. Uh, you actually lose quite a lot of prestige from having occupied territories or blockaded ports and all that kind of crap, so... Uh, I just hope this does not cancel things with Russia. No, it doesn't. Good. Doesn't even piss them off. They're like, yeah, yeah. This is not EU4. What, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, that's great. Oh. Where is the source of the Nile? Well, let's go find out. Get some of that prestige. And seriously, can anyone tell me how on earth the uh, the French are able to do this? Look how fast they're gaining influence. It's fucking crazy. Can I ban them before they're increasing their... Oh, nope, no, I can't. I'm going to ban them now. Well, that would kind of be dumb, wouldn't it? It would be an inefficient way of doing things. I'm just gonna. I'm going to wait until they have some more points. I'm going to wait until they're like close to 50. I'm going to fucking kick them out. What? The bonus sultanate grants extraterritoriality? Very well then. Alright, ban. Out. Out of this clay. Yeah, I think I really need to make a decision on whether or not I want to add the Ottomans to my sphere or not. I'm also increasing uh, relations with the Persians because I feel like they would be a good little nation to do some colonization in. I mean, I know there is a... Um, I remember this from the French campaign, that there was this thing you could do late game where you could just completely annex uncivilized nations. Um, whether or not it works properly, but because I, I remember the British doing that, so I wonder if I can do the same to Persia. Um, I don't know what technologies and shit you need to do that, but I want to keep an eye on it, and primarily I just want to kick the British out so that when the opportunity arises, I can just swoop in and fucking annex Persia. That would be great. Redo the conquest of Alexander. And then we'll have like a nice chunk of colonies here. Maybe even... Once uh, colonies become a bit cheaper, we might want to consider eating up Macron. So that we'll... So we can walk between Sindh and uh, Persia. If we ever get Persia, it's no guarantee, of course. But... It's a thought. Let's increase relations with these guys a bit, just to smoothen the uh, influence. I might want to do some influence technology, actually. Ooh, colonial incident. Sadly, the Portuguese are sphered by La Grande Bretagne. Man, that sucks, though. That would have been a great little opportunity to get some clay in Africa, but I sadly do not think this is going to happen. Instead, we're going to get some, uh, some jinguism, as always. These uh, events rarely matter, do they? Hmm. Yeah, this really sucks. I really do. I really would like to get the colony from them. But no, nope. cannot be done. Athens, you are a lady. Uh, hey, free crap. Do you want to read this? Have fun. I think it's just some colonial stuff, though. That's good. Very good. Very good indeed. Hmm. In other news, um. We really need to make a decision with France. Do we just want to add them, or <laughs> France, with the Ottoman Empire? Do we just want to add them to our sphere? I think we will try that. Let's see what that does. Right, I feel like we need to make a decision at this point on uh, whether or not we want the Ottomans in our sphere. And I think I want to try it because... Uh, what is this? You're fighting France? Oh... What are you doing? Ah, Franco-Prussian War, okay. Yeah, that's fine. No concern of me. Front, you're dead. Going down. Sorry, sir. Look at this, the British are invading France, even if the Straits over here are not in this game. Or this mod, I mean. Uh, but yeah, regardless, I think we're gonna go ahead and join this... Uh, not join the war, but we're gonna add them to our sphere. And we're gonna see if that cancels out the alliance with, uh, with the Germans. Uh, probably won't cancel it immediately, as they are at war, so maybe this was a bad time to add them to our sphere, oh, who knows. 
We will see. Uh, protectionism, please. Oh, spam party. So I guess it something happened. Uh, assassinate by ruining. Okay. Does this matter to me? Uh, well, I guess it's just some. I don't even know why I got an, uh, an alert for that. I guess it's just an event that uh, helps trigger this civil war that's going to happen in Japan. International crisis. What? I thought those were turned off. How can there be an international crisis? I am confused. And what's up with this flag? Ah, that's. What's up with all the mon monarchies in. Uh, in. Um, Latin America? Well, I guess it's only Peru and Bolivia. Still, though. Uh, Poland wants support. No. Just no. Why, why would I? Crisis averted. Good. Seriously though, why is there a crisis? I thought I turned it off. Did I misclick? I, I couldn't have. Could I? I am confused. Uh oh, there it is. Okay, so that did indeed cancel the alliance. Who are you? Nejdemrat? Well, I mean, sure. Once again, don't really understand what that's all about, but sure. Uh, okay, so now we need to make a decision then. Are we going to try uh, to wage war upon the Ottomans? Well, we're gonna need Russian help, so I guess, if anything, we know we're gonna wanna wait for them to finish their rebel problems. Hopefully they won't take forever doing that. Who are these guys? Jacobins, okay. Alright, so I've moved my units close to the Ottoman border, but I just still... Ugh, I cannot decide. Ooh, pragmatism. What the fuck is... What is this? Hmm... No. Ah, okay. Oh, nice. Uh, anyways. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I, I'm still super torn on the whole invade the Ottoman Empire because I've been thinking about it and even though the Ottoman... Because uh, you see, the, the reason why I'm so paranoid about this is that what I fear is that we invade the Ottomans, we take some land, uh, but then the second we have done that, uh, they are just gonna once more ally the Germans and once the truce is up they're gonna invade me and fuck me over which is what happened in the um, in the second attempt at me playing Greece in uh, historical project mod when I took Albania which is I mean that attempt is not on YouTube as I have explained before but still uh, that's the problem uh, I guess one thing is that hmm well, we aren't actually that far away from... Well, we are quite far away from uh, catching up with the Russians, but... I don't know. When do I, When is, like, the next prestige tech? Uh, it's already 1870. So, um, what I'm thinking, maybe... Although this probably wouldn't actually be enough to beat the Russians in terms of prestige. Because the thing is, I feel like if I can get war leader with the Ottomans, I can do so much more. Because if I can be war leader, I can probably take literally all the uh, the core territories I um, uh, they have uh, might even be able to take in some more I don't know exactly how that war score um, how that math works out but my idea is that maybe we should wait also I know there are events like what is the I can't remember what it's called but it's like the um, there's an event that uh, you know weakens the Ottomans or something like that also, I see people are influencing the uh, outer mains. Can't be having that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Austria Hungary being a bitch. Get out of here. Stop this madness. Should probably just ban him. Uh, we'll see. Uh, regardless, though, uh, so I might want to wait until after that event, because I know that event is going to give me Thessaly, if anything. Uh, there's a choice, I think. Like, either the Ottomans get completely wrecked or they get wrecked a little. And in the wrecked a little scenario, I gain these provinces, so. Uh, we might just want to wait. The Greek Red Star. Oh, yes, the socialists have appeared. Rich strata become socialist, or I mean, do we want socialism? I guess we do want socialism, don't we? It's difficult to argue against that. Although that is a lot of militancy, so that might have been bad. No. Oh. Again, come on, guys. Uh, but sure, let's make them more and more uh, socialist. Maybe we'll get some. Uh... Yeah, there we go. People's ideologies. Oof. 
Yeah, actually, let's uh, reform voting. Let's let, 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 let's reform the voting system so that uh, we can get more socialists into the upper house. Actually, if I have oh man, now I'm starting to think this was stupid. Like if I click the event or click the option to make the rich uh, socialist, I could have kept the current voting system. I like to postpone voting as f for as long as possible, really. Hey, you can start kicking out the British. Though actually, let's ban them before we start kicking them out, just so that they won't get any funny thoughts. So we can properly ruin them. Although, you know, we also need to improve relations, because we can't be having the British hate us, despite us sort of taking over their colonies. Also, I don't know what this, what, why, is this, why this happened, but for some reason my economy just got a lot worse after I spared the Ottomans. No idea why that is. Shouldn't it be better? Are the Ottomans really that sick? Hmm, who knows. Regardless, if we are not going to be invading the Ottomans, sending my army here was probably stupid because I actually lost a lot of men on that passage. I don't know who else to invade though. I'm currently trying to get to uh, nationalism and imperialism because I know... I know that reduces the infamy you have to take to annex uh, states. I just read that. Um, I think anyways. Uh, and I, I wonder if that's the thing that unlocks the annex multiple states th option thing. Then we could maybe annex Thailand, or what the hell it's called in this one, Ratan, Ratanakosin Kingdom. Weird stuff. Ooh, also Korea, we... well, they're a puppet, so... Ooh, Japan is unified. Very well, then. Uh, regardless, though, I think maybe this would be a good place to end the episode, honestly. Um, once more, I am not entirely sure exactly how long this has been. As I've yet to actually edit a single thing, but uh, we will find that out. Ah, yes, we are indeed pleased. That's another thing. Uh, when it comes to Africa, I might want to do some sphering, or at least trying to kick out some people. Because I know that... Um, yeah, that, that's probably something we can go and do. Yeah, look at that British being friendly, that's not good. Because when the... Uh, this is something I learned the hard way in the French campaign. Is that countries love to sphere on people in Africa, but when they do that, you can't sphere... Or you can't attack them without going to war with that great power, so... Oh man, look at that color though. Imagine if... Imagine if the... Uh, this was like the actual map and we would have had a glorious Greek Empire, but no. Sadly. Sadly not. Focus will be on our course for now. Anyways though, thank you so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.